Hey everybody, welcome to my AirPods Q&A video. In this video, I'm going to be answering some of the more common questions I've been getting from my various social media accounts, friends, and acquaintances about the Apple AirPods, so stay tuned. How can I get wireless charging for my AirPods? The original AirPods battery case that currently comes with your AirPods by default doesn't offer any wireless charging option as of this video, but there are some third-party options that allow you to charge your AirPods wirelessly. But I'm not quite sure why you'd go through that at this point, as it still requires you to plug things into them anyway. Apple is supposed to be coming out with a new wireless charging case for the AirPods at some point this year, as well as a new AirPower wireless charging mat that's supposed to be compatible with iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and the iPhone 10 as well, as well as a new AirPods wireless charging case and the Apple Watch Series 3. Can I use my AirPods with my Windows PC? In most cases, the answer is yes, but it's not guaranteed. You can pair your AirPods with your Windows computer just like any other Bluetooth headphones, provided the computer is using a new enough version of Bluetooth, Bluetooth 4.0 or higher. To learn more, you can check out my video, How to Set Up AirPods on a Windows 10 Computer. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check that out. What do the different colored lights mean on the AirPods case? The AirPods status light offers different information based on whether or not the AirPods are actively charging. Here's a breakdown of what the different colors mean. When the light is green and the AirPods are in the case, that means the AirPods are fully charged. If there's no AirPods in the case, but you open it up and it's green, the charging case is fully charged. If the light is orange or amber, when the AirPods are in the case, the AirPods have less than one full charge remaining. And in a situation where it's the case only without the AirPods in them, and the light is orange or amber, the charging case has less than one full charge remaining. If the light is flashing orange or amber, this means something is wrong and that you need to set up your AirPods again. And when the light is flashing white, that means the AirPods are ready to set up or pair with one of your devices. How long is the AirPods battery life? The AirPods are powered by Apple's custom-designed Apple W1 chip, which promises to manage battery life efficiently. This allows 5 hours on a single charge. The case that ships with the AirPods offers an additional 24 hours charge worth of listening time, and a simple 15-minute charge in the case will give you 3 hours of listening time. How can I clean my AirPods? Cleaning your AirPods is really quite simple. I have a short video showing you how to do it called How to Clean Your AirPods. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check that out. Can I charge my AirPods case without the AirPods being in the case? Yes. Plugging a lightning cable into the AirPods charging case will charge the battery inside the case. While this will not charge the AirPods themselves, the case will be ready to charge the AirPods later, when you put them back in the case. When the AirPods charging case is charging, the light will turn orange. Once the battery has been topped up, the light will change to green. Charging the AirPods case with the AirPods inside the case will charge everything to 100%. What Apple devices support the AirPods? According to Apple, AirPods support all devices running iOS 10 or later, watchOS 3 or later, and macOS Sierra. This includes Apple Watch, iPhone 5 or later, the iPad Mini 2 or later, and iPad 4 or later, including the iPad Air and Pro models. The AirPods also require an iCloud account for their one-touch setup and auto-pairing with any device. However, you can also use them with some older Apple devices and computers if you pair them manually. They would only have basic functionality, but they would still work. If you'd like to learn more about this type of setup, you could check out my video with the wordy title, How to Set Up AirPods on Any Mac Without iCloud, Including Older Macs. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check that out. Well everybody, that brings us to the end of my first AirPods Q&A video. Hopefully I answered at least some of your questions. If there's any questions I didn't mention, feel free to ask them in the comments below. If I get enough of them, I might just make a part two. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.